go ahead and leave me. Ugh! 170. 170? Oh! Oh, you, you must have picked up a... Oh, how stupid! How... how silly. How silly. I didn't think that you would have to pick up a hobgoblin. So yes, I, I do. I could have dropped a reroll. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh wow, I almost uh, clicked inducement results without clicking by the wizard. That was... <laughs> That's confidence right there. I'm just going to go in hot. Nut Little Green. New, I guess. Nut Little Green. Alright, let me um, I'm gonna post this on the Facebook page. Mama? Hmm. Can you... I'm going to go in my legs here. Ugh, Strayman. Yep, they're streaming. I don't know. I'm going to go in my legs here. Ugh, Strayman. Looks good. Hi. Yeah, I'll take out about five more minutes. Hey Elsa, say hi to Eric. Hi Eric. Hey Elsa. Elsa, Eric doesn't have a unicorn name yet. Hello. Can you give him a unicorn name? <laughs> Here, I'll open the bubbles and you think of a unicorn name. So Mama's unicorn name is... Peanuts. Peanuts. And mine is water. <laughs> no, Ollie's waves crashing on the ocean. Oh. <laughs> what about Eric? Eric doesn't have peanuts. Oh, peanuts. <laughs> you need another one. What? I'm, I'm peanuts as well? Alan, can we have bubbles? Now they're funny. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, you can be bubbles there. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, we, Hi there. Oh, shit, hey, I, I didn't realize and that. We, uh, I gotta turn down these settings. Hey, so this match promises to have the stands rocking. Rocky no more, Bob. The hooligans have already strung up the band. Oh, yes. So can you not change the stats? Yeah, you should be able to. Yeah, you should be able to. Two teams are years apart. Resume match, abandon match. <laughs> Those are my options. Really? What a nice day. Yeah. Perfect Blood Bowl weather, Bob. I can't turn yes, down this Jim, fucking ideal menu. weather for a game of Blood Bowl. Though I'm not sure it will end nicely for all oh, the players. <laughs> well, you're going to get all the uh, hot big moot sandwich talk. Well, yeah, and I can barely hear you over it. That's the problem. That's the, that's the rub, my friend. I did do. I did make a new frame, which is kind of nice. There's no like settings. There's gotta be settings in there. Yeah, I I can't believe that. Maybe you gotta start. Menu. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was me hitting the menu button. Okay. <laughs> well. Uh, there's probably no reason for me to have anyone with dodge on the line. One dodge over the line, sweet Jesus. Is One that the song dodge right? over the line. I'm not used to playing with the announcers and the sound on. <laughs> They're really annoying. <laughs> Look at the fans. They're oh, red hot. A majority of supporters safer. reckon that the league should take measures to prevent the small minority of peaceful fans from watching a match from the terraces. They've got a point. If they don't want to join in the fun, they might as well stay home and watch it on cable. So I'm not let you have a lizard. I hate the lizard. Oh, 
in a bubble shower. Oh shit, you're kicking off. <laughs> it doesn't. Oh well. Did you know the chaos to all the I got an extra reroll. I should have got a reroll. Don't they ever have enough of them? No, boss. They always need more slaves to play Blood Bowl. Uh, yeah, well, I oh, would like some no slaves settings too, option. Jim. Sometimes I feel. Uh, stop right there, Bob. Oh, you sound like a lonely cheerleader. Let's see Blood be spelled. <sighs> I know in Blood Bowl 2 you can access this stuff, you know. And in every game ever made. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's what pump do that. Yeah, I really think you gotta dump him. Good old days back then, but I think it'll take why you to the next level. I, love I don't this really story. understand that. The though. Scarface scavenger. He doesn't do it. He's like, he's playing a billion. Jesus Christ. Gunpowder onto the troll. Triple Sent him push running the down the into the opposing crowd. I mean, you lost that game against Rollo the of the fans, because he failed his wild troll, animal role causing a huge amount of detestation to the opponents. This he cost you that game. Outlawed by the Blood Bowl regulations That's true. Crafters. But he also... And we haven't seen a single troll on the Chaos And he's one of the most expensive guys seen. on your roster. Oh, the the second most expensive guy on your roster. Now, let's yeah. see how much cap space. You could Without have two Cub Goblins and give Don't one forget, of them 30 players. Don't forget, they still have and Minotaurs. And Minotaurs. I'm sure it will be a Blood Bowl. So when you do have the ball for eight turns, you can make it that much more painful. Plus, he's only strength four. Yeah, it's an ST4 that's the problem. I think big guys are really valuable at lower team values because Blood Bowl in general is a lot more chaotic at lower team values. But once you start hitting the mid TV, you'll want more consistent players. Man, this sound is fucking atrocious. It's really rubbing my mind. Alright. Oh shit! Well, there's some snake eyes. How did they do that? They're so small, useless, and ugly. Indeed, Bob, they are. But when the orc and goblin like, slaves rebel, I got my one out of thirty-six failure out of the way early, and help the chaos dwarfs at the last minute. Oh, I knew those hot goblins were unreliable. 
pliable creatures, Jim. Look at them. <laughs> yes, Paul, but if he rolls into so uh, different, you know, like what? skull, double skull, <laughs> or into uh, both down. I swear to God, dude. The thing is that he's so smacky. He hits hard when he does hit. That's what I like about him. He does shit like that. You can't say much about yeah. that. Full-blooded but perfectly legal. Full-blooded but perfectly legal. Gonna apoc that. I doubt he'll be taking any yeah. further part in the match. Well, if you just put Mighty Blow no, on no, one of your still got two blockers, legs. it would be just as good. Is that what Mighty Blow is? Mighty Blow gives plus one to uh, armor break rolls. Yeah, but he turns every armor into a seven. An eight. Oh, an eight? Is that what Claude is? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Claude is doing nothing. Right now. Did you... So you had to roll doubles to get the claw. I did. Probably should have gotten the claw. I got to see Sage play today. Yeah, yeah. I like watching him. I like Jimmy Fantastic. Hey, Bob, too. do you know who Scurfrick Stonesucker is? Well, no, tell me. Well, Bob, he's one of the Hobgoblin team's best players. But still, he often missed entire games as he struggled to tie his bootlaces up. Ah, those <laughs> stupid things. They always make everything go wrong. Absolutely. And the Maritimes only and armor that's eight. The wow. love to see them play volleyball. <laughs> he has the lowest armor on your team. It doesn't really oh, no. Oh, the place. Hobgoblins are all seven, huh? Yeah. Hobgoblins are practically useless. Yeah, exactly. Except for like cannon fodder and deep having a deep bench that doesn't cost too much. Yeah, but, but uh, you can make some dedicated fowlers out of them. I mean, if you really work them, they can be ball handlers. But you really gotta work them. Well, you don't have to because you got an edging three sure hands. Oh no, you have sure hands and edging three though. Yeah, but bef it's like early chaos dwarf before your. Um, your centaurs get good. Yeah, yeah. Your hobos are gonna be important. Yeah. Let's see if this guy fails a one out of thirty-six again. Let's see it. Ah, what a dodge! That guy's practically a ram pickup. Wow. <laughs> I changed my frame on Twitch. I liked it a lot better. They opened up the field a lot more. Oh yeah. So you can Every actually like, see again, what the blood bowl says. throws up a real mixed yeah. bag of a team. Like the motley horn that's made up of a bunch of misfits. Yeah, can't be easy to coach those castoffs every day of the week. Mm, not be easy to coach, coach those castoffs every day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you like big moot sandwiches. I don't. I just like elf girls. Did you say I don't? I just like yogurt. Elf girls. Oh, you got him. Mm, what violence! Yes, it's a great spectacle, Bob. I guess you're right. He did cost me the game, but I was going for the blitz to injure a player, not to uh, just knock him over. I don't know. That was well, yeah, but that ghoul was the one who scored the game when he touched him. Yep. Yeah. Yes, he was. Yeah, that was a very troubling um, thing. Because that's the thing if you roll wild animal, you lose your blitz. Yeah. It's yeah, sh and it's shitty. it wouldn't be it wouldn't be that bad because you can re-roll it, except it coupled with the loner skill, so any re-roll is a 50-50 shot in the dark. And then you've just wasted a re-roll too if the loner skill is so triggered. widespread that the referees guild has set up rules concerning where, when, and how one can accept a bribe. Under an agreement signed last season, the clubs are not allowed to offer less than the going rate. Hmm. Now there's 
one that won't be coming back in a hurry. Oh, fucking Fend. I get an extra reroll. Oh, god damn it, you piece of shit game. You piece of shit game! I knew it! Fucking knew it. are littered with the stories of teams who've gone bust with crippling debts. And with the cost of doping and bribery on the rise, the problem won't be going away. With the cost of doping and bribery on the rise, the problem will not be going away. <laughs> uh, I forgot how much I've heard all of these lines. <laughs> Upside down, that's one way to look at things. Yeah, there you go. Oh, cool thing too, it's also just going to that close-up view every time. Oh, good. The super helpful. Yeah. I gotta say, man, I watch Blood Bowl 2 and I'm like, this game is beautiful. Yeah, I've been playing Blood Bowl 2. I can it only runs on my computer on the lowest settings. Mm -hmm. I'm like ultra low. Uh, I do think I, I kind of miss it now. Yeah. I'll turn back to play Blood Bowl 1 on League. <laughs> I do think that uh I do think that um, got, I might post my stream in Blood Bowl 2. You might actually get viewers if I did that. Cause ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> nobody's searching for Blood Bowl Chaos Edition. Everyone, well, actually, that's gonna start going up because remember that Blood commercial Bowl Blood Bowl Edition fans wrecked the boot, Bob. Oh yeah, what a great commercial, Jim. That People elevated for, the Dragon uh, Prince's popularity uh, back in the early days. Right, Jim. At least that's they one high elf team that knows how to play though. proper Blood Bowl. Yeah, I'm sure they will. They know what they're doing. Uh, if you feel bold, let's be bold. Going for it. I'm okay with both down. Who'd you blitz? The blocker or the lineman? Or... It says in the top right. Oh, the hobgobbler. Yeah, both down. Too. If it wasn't for the blood flowing oh, through his nose and mouth, we'd swear he was having a rest. And the crowd liked that one. It was a big hit. They love the sound of a of a helmet striking another helmet. <laughs> yes, they do. Wait, we're talking about Blood Bowl? Uh, no, NFL football. America's most popular and most violent sport? Oh, Jesus, fuck. Oh, Frenzy. That about friends. Give me both down. Give me double both down. No, he only pushes. He's a he's a, he's a pushy guy. Shit. Yeah, you're gonna fuck. <laughs> Look, Bob. Just to put him out. Of, this, make the decision for me, Jesse. Still, I'll be my best to kill him. Times, you. Jim. What's so difficult throwing a ball? I want it to see more action. Jim Jam Clip Clop! <laughs> yes, a hundred Americans at the Mall of America. Ooh! Who their favorite Blood Bowl team was, Blood Bowl players. <laughs> Shit. 
Show me Tim Jam Clip Clop. Uh, we're going to say Tim Jam Clip Clop. <laughs> yeah! Ding! One. Danny likes that one. <laughs> Show me Tim Jam Clip Clop. Ooh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> Favorite type of cake is actually yellow cake. <laughs> Ice cream cake. That doesn't count! <laughs> <laughs> it's not cake. Legally not cake. Oh, you got this. Yo, you got this little wanderer back here. A little wanderer. Wandering around. You need my pass rusher? You should hit him with a lightning bolt. <laughs> did you see how that went last in, like, in Rollo's game? Yes, I did. It was the worst ever. <laughs> I did. Today's insight uh, comes from Jaime Schnitt, coach and owner of the Goblin oh, Lowdown Rats team. Bar. In yesterday's Bar. Spike magazine, Bar. he said that Blood Welcome Bowl was like war. Bags. No winners, just He survived. says, are you guys ever going to bring back Rats the PA team. podcast? Rats keeps his team's position in the rankings. Uh, we would we'll have to free up a lot of time. We'd have to free up time. I, I think that at some point it will happen. I, I don't think that it'll be like, we'll bring it back for... A serial podcast, but I wouldn't be surprised was if really at some point in the future there's a podcast that pops up on Could the feed. Or maybe his opponent shouldn't speak that. Maybe way like a bypack special or something. I, yeah, I wouldn't mind doing it for like uh, special events. It'd be fun to do like a bypack special and just like just throw it up on the feed just for people who are loyal and still, yeah. still have the feed active. Yes. Yeah. For me, like, I'm actually getting more and more excited about niche media. Right. Like, Looks like there was some bad blood like, between I like those the public two, forum Abel? on the Blood Bowl yeah, Chaos Edition. I, I still am holding out parts. hope that we could do that. Just have a podcast that's just text-based on the public forum. <laughs> uh, <laughs> on Blood Bowl Chaos Edition until the server's shut down. <laughs> yeah, Not really technically a podcast, but... It's like the, uh, the last... Uh, like the last, what was it? Like six players on the uh, old Halo Two or Halo Three servers. Yeah. They didn't shut the servers down until everyone quit. So like the last six guys did like marathon sessions. Hey, oh really? Bob, have you yeah. ever been to the yeah. Great Skull Land? No, Jim, it's a wasteland. No one goes out Thanks there. for the question, Not Wally Bag. Well, Sorry about the sound. I couldn't turn off these fucking announcers. Have they returned Jesse. ever since? Uh. <laughs> Sounds like he's in the crowd. <laughs> I'm just yelling from the stands. <sighs> I do have this fancy microphone. I quit podcasting and I have a fancy microphone. Oh, you're streaming. That's true, I am streaming. Technically, right now. So are you just tempting me or what? What's up What's up with this? I'm not, I'm not telling. You're trying to get me a score? Trying to get me a score here. So little, so little, silly man. Jim, the noblest of them all. We can expect a high-quality throwing game today. Oh, right. Well, if I fall asleep, do not wake me up. Game. Man, I love that break there. Oh, yeah.
Recent medical reports stated that cerebral hemorrhages were less frequent in Blood Bowl players. Amazing when you come to think of it. Not really, when you consider that brains are also less frequent. Listen to some direct Wally. What's the name of your podcast? We'll pimp it on this extremely popular Blood Bowl Chaos <laughs> Edition stream. We really like that uppercut. He may not have liked it, but he certainly ate it. Hey, Bob, can you see those hobgoblins on the pitch? Is it pitch? called LOL? Is that the <laughs> oh, name yes, Tim. I can see them. It's going to be a nice Is match. that the name of your podcast? I hope they don't you betray their own cheek. <laughs> Come on, Tim. Hey that would be even better, wouldn't it? <laughs> so, Jesse, I did, my first <clears throat> I did my first CrossFit today. Why? Trying to get in shape, man. CrossFit is um, CrossFit's more of a cult than a master exercise. Why do you say that? Because they have typically have really bad form, and uh, for the long term, it's quite bad for your joints. Bad for your joints. Well, it was a good workout. Yeah. Sure, it felt good. It was very cardio centric, the one that I went to today. It was, not, it was like not any weightlifting at all. Yeah, CrossFit's more about that and like doing pull ups with really bad form. Mm. Um, what they have you running on? Well, we had, they did, they had like rowing machines and then uh, bikes and then. Um, Running machines, bikes, and uh, we did a lot of burpees. Holy that shit! Sounds, that sounds more like uh, circuit training. Holy shit. Doping is really endemic in this sport. Isn't it written into the game oh. rules? Well, that'll keep him quiet for a while. Yeah, he's just stunned. Not dead. Oh, the terrible talkers. Terrible talkers. Everybody listen to terrible talkers. Only yep. on every podcasting place you can get it. Uh, four plus, three plus, two plus. Oh, snakes on that roll. Oh, you stunt my bull centaur. <clears throat> getting hairy. 
Uh, it was Harry as soon as your team showed up. <laughs> Classic Jesse. Classic J Dog, everybody. Classic J Dog. What was that? What was that name again? I'm, I'm gonna subscribe to it right now. The Terrible Talkers Podcast. What's up, Chambery Mage? Welcome to the stream. We're streaming. I apologize about the audio. For some reason, this game is terrible, and I can't turn off the game sound. So, Jesse did you know, Bob, quiet. that the Hobgoblins saved Zar Nagrun? I have How I have tickets on the fifty-yard so line. Uh, this and is ugly. Indeed, Bob, they are. <laughs> They're literally just and talking over the announcers. Rebelled. <laughs> Yes, Bob, but <laughs> ogres aren't so different, you know. 81 episodes. This, this has been going. It's been going, baby. Sweet. I'll listen to it tomorrow at work. Add a elf. Add a elf. Hmm. Greet it into two red skulls. Okay, what's that? Oh. Yeah. Uh, you're still in a really good position. Why is that? Oh. What are guard dudes? I'm guessing this is a guard dude. No, where are my fucking guards? Okay, that guy is guard. That's what that is. Cool. This is the, yeah, okay. Now we got it. Now we're doing it. Now we're doing it, people. Okay, that'll be fun. He sent him down for a chat with the Astro Granite. Uh, Something must be broken. Probably nose, a few teeth, an arm. You know, regular stuff. Blood Bowl is reputedly the toughest of You have fun, Jamesy Mage. You have some great dreams. But it really only comes down to taking a few hits. I hope that we are not in them. Because that would be a weird thing. Your dreams are not great. Make dreams great again. <laughs> oh god. Our prison was the good thing. Um okay. Shit, Yeah. Consistent. I'm adopting Tasha's strategy of just pretending we don't have a president. <laughs> I kind of do that now. And in for all intents and purposes, we don't really drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Yeah, we have more of like a celebrity spokesperson. I was thinking about this. I think we need to go to a system like how like Germany has a chancellor and a prime minister. Yeah. Like we need a prime minister who actually does all the work and then we can elect whatever celebrity we want as chancellor. Uh -huh. And it's just more of like an honorary. Thing. Oh fuck you, hey. game. And don't forget, children, don't try and do this at home. Remember, these are seasoned professionals. Chamber well, Mates has never had a first anyway. layer stream yet. It's just me saying I'm not as fat as you think I am over and over. Um, we don't see much of the heroes of law these days. I don't know. No the only regrets. spectators who aren't aware that heroes no of law hope to regret. show the world Gee. a better way by honest, strategic play no on regrets. the bench. <laughs> Probably a good thing we don't see them. So if you move in the thing there. It's one of the big old wheel cheese. Where do I there? Maybe I can block my way out from that dwarf. That would be nice. You you picking up my hog down there? This player has opened the slapping box and voice. gives rather generously. Okay. Verse six. One, two. No regrets. 
Bump. Oh, I do want to foul though. That would be fun, huh? You gonna foul my hobgobbler? Is this my loner? Is this? It is. It is. It's Canute Little Green. You can't get too mad. Well, I won't. I honestly wouldn't be. Honestly, if it was Jord, I'd be so happy. Actually, I think Jord died. Yeah, Jordy died. <laughs> Jord died. God, I wish I had dropped a reroll. Hey, Bob, can you see those hobgoblins on the pitch? <laughs> oh, yes, Jim, I can see them. It's going to be a nice match. I hope they don't betray their own team. <laughs> Come on, Jim. That would be even better, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right, sack of boy, show him what you got. <clears throat> Let's see. I got more rerolls. <laughs> Good turns. Here's where I reroll it into a red skull. And Here we like, go. Well, hmm. I think I just use my foot. I probably should have saved the reroll for GFI here. No, I totally listen to a podcast about how America needs to separate the leader figurehead from the dude who does the actual work. That's what I was saying. That's what Chamber Mage said. I, she said she can't, uh, she doesn't know which one it was. I had to switch over. I was using the Xbox to type. Awful. Yeah, that is bad. You were typing using the interface? You don't have one of those fancy Xbox keyboards? <laughs> those things were the best. How did they not have a microphone in the controller now that you can just speak into? Yeah, anyway. Cortana. We're already allowing a CIA, CIA sleeper agent into our house, practically, so... I told you, I talked about this a long time ago on personal hey, arrogance. Bob, do you know who Scurfrick Stonesucker is? Well, Where no, it's like, if, you, if the well, government Bob, wants to put the camera in your house, you'd be, be like, no way. Still, if they charge you $250 for it, you're like, yes, please. As he yeah, exactly. To tie his up. Ah, that's yes. like, uh... Stupid things, they always make everything go wrong. Uh, someone I know. Absolutely, Bob. Who, and that's why the fans love to see them play football. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, I'm getting rid of this Minotaur. I'm so over this. <laughs> I rolled a one and require a four. No. Wildest of animals. Yeah, wild animal is probably the biggest uh, detriment of all the of all the big guys. Bonehead is probably the best because that's just a two plus no matter what. And then really stupid is sort of like wild animal, but you get the plus two as long as you have another piece and face to face contact with it. So he just needs a buddy. But Wild Animal it has to be a block or a blitz action, otherwise it's 50-50. So if he goes on the ground, you have to blitz with him. Otherwise, yep. I mean, you don't have to, but... Yep. Or you, yeah, or you just leave him on the ground. Right. Which is what I did. Well, I just left him there. Thanks for the shout-out, Wally Bags. Yeah, it'd be nice... I mean, I feel like that's how the presidency kind of is, actually. That's true. The president doesn't have as much power as people think. Well, but in, it's, it's still a little too much. Yeah, it's just like... Did you know the chaos dwarfs intend to leave you know, with that, some that's, new that's slaves? Oh, really, Jim? Don't they ever have enough that's of them? True. Or at least no, they tell well, us they always need to more slaves <laughs> to play I bet you they gave them the wrong yeah, one. Well, <laughs> They're like, the nuclear code <laughs> is dog. Uh, stop right there, Bob. You sound like a lonely cheerleader. Uh, Let's see blood be no, spilled. Dog. My elf. What finesse. What yeah, he has it. What perfection. <laughs> what a hammer blow. Yeah, here's the question. What the fuck do I do? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> What do I do? Tell Jesse not to play the podcast on the community speaker. It's not family friendly. Okay. A terrible talkers podcast. Let's do it I, now right on iTunes. It's okay. I usually um like subscribe. I don't. I don't mind if my daughter hears that stuff. 
had the conversation about what's a good word and what's a bad word and stuff. Like, subscribe. Fall over, fall over, fall over. I got, what? This might, they might as well do it. Fall over, fall. Oh. I only have one pair left and I have one more Yeah. No, you would have been silly not to roll it. Do I stand yeah, up my hobgoblin? It was your last one, I think it was. Wizards oh, have not always been able to cast Ooh. spells safely from behind the side lines. <laughs> we heard that one. Were you playing at the time in an Albion <laughs> would, League, a second that division that prohibited spell casting from off the pitch? Oh, yes. I don't they think were great the times. I remember fans traveling to games just to see how well Wizards stood no. up to the mad charge of a raging Blood Bowl star. The noise created by a sizzling fireball, followed by the characteristic sound of the snapping of a wizard's oh. neck. There's no way he's oh, gonna Jesus. score a touchdown. Oh, the wizard's such Laid a fucking out on the waste of money. Like that. <laughs> uh, Jeremy, I know a guy who works for ICE during the Obama years is super conflicted about staying on, but needs to find a living somehow. Maybe a tell-all book. Tell-all podcast. Yeah. It doesn't have to be true either. <laughs> it doesn't. We live in a post-truth era. We were. Well, we live in an alternative fact era. Scaring me so bad. I don't know, I can at least make you have to handle the ball a little bit. Yeah. So you can right. handle. Good night, Chambery Mage. Thanks for checking in. There's two. Oh, well. Hope your cheese dreams go. I heard your cheese had absolutely disappeared after being abandoned by the supporters. Let's say like that some teams dreams who haven't won a match different. for several years have been tied up by their fans and thrown into rubbish dreams. containers. This is the only way to end the downward spiral. All right. I don't think this is possible. Whoa, that's not good. Okay, so I need to get all these guys out of the way. Right. Shuffling the dwarves. Well, no, 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 no. The more ribs. Ah, uh, you got the cow. Bye. I think I might still be screwed. There was a time when the colleges of magic hadn't yet ruled on limiting wizard assistance to teams. Who could forget the infamous 2472 Quagmire incident when rampant spell casting caused the entire Bright Crusader Stadium to sink into the earth? Nobody could forget that. People were blinded for miles around the stadium. Maybe not. I don't know. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, nope. Oh, no. Now you got a good shot at this. You just need like three two pluses. Give me one, give me one, give me one, give me one, give me one. Give me one. Give me one. Oh. There it is. There it is. Oh, that got me nervous, my friend. That got me real shaky. The old shaker dome. Ooh, my heart's a little, my heart's about there. He's a 
the thing about the eight turn touchdown going first, it gives you guys two chances to your bell ring guys two chances to stand up. But there's nothing you can do about it. Oh lordy, lordy, look who's dirty. Which I had it set up for my defense anyway. What's the best way to get some traction with the podcast? We're the wrong people to ask. <laughs> uh, join the Bald Move Network. <laughs> that's a great way to do it. I don't know. Like, that's the thing about personal arrogance. Like, it never had a gigantic audience, but it had, like, a great core of people. Who, right. It was just, like, so awesome. Like, our... Final show was two and a half hours of call-ins because the people felt like it was like to be the their best show. I think to that that's the big part of it. Pitch. Apparently, they start at a very early age, as young as like seventy years don't old. Don't worry about how many listeners you have. How, how can worry it about take them so long to become a full-fledged blood bowl player? Well, Jim, to successfully pass their trials, they must perfect their hairdos. <laughs> ah, that explains why so many of them never make it to the big game. But yeah, it's a tough racket, dude. Like, especially if it's just, like, people talking. It's a super tough racket because, like, there's a bunch of people talking podcasts with, like, Adam Carolla and <laughs> Joe yeah. Rogan and a bunch of famous people, and that's who you're competing against, you know? That gets, that gets so old to me, though. It gets I'm super so old. I'm so tired of hearing people talk about Hollywood. Yeah, me too. I stopped listening to Marin. Yeah. For that very reason. Like, every podcast is the same. Where'd you grow up? How did you get in the business? Yeah. Are you actually set up for a one-turn touchdown? I'm going to do my best. This is exciting. This, I've never even come close to being successful. That's it. The ball's in play. There's going to be trouble. Shit. Out of bounds. Fuck. That was dumb of me, I think. I think yeah, that I, mean, I should have just... Back wasn't right. Yeah, I should have just put it in the safest in place the middle. possible. Yeah. All right, let's see it. Wait, I'm already out of position. I needed a guy there. Well, can you get there? No. How many spaces deep do you need? The to referees get? guild has decided Three, to hire a bodyguard for each game. Gotta get four. Another brilliant idea. And just how oh, I did give it to my one to the wrong guy against the stadium full of supporters. <laughs> True, could be a well, bit one-sided. Okay. It never works. See, like, I need pushes. Well, not screwed. Nope, that's fine. They both have block. Oh, you need a push. I need a push. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know, dude. I mean, Jim and Aaron are the guys who talk about getting a bunch of listeners. I don't really know the secret sauce to that. Well, it's hard when it's just two guys talking, like you said. Yeah. I mean, like, regardless of how good the Adam Carollas and Mark Marins and Joe Rogans are, that is who you're competing against. In terms of, like, strangers finding your podcast. If you're just if you're just a couple people talking. So I would just say have as much fun with it as possible and try to engage your current listeners as much as possible. Because that will be it. It'll be like, oh... You know, my I I am on this podcast. People Whoa, will be like, "Hey, nice listen to this podcast. I'm on it this week." Then you get, you know, that can help. Fine. There's one that lets his biceps do the talking. Yeah, but from his opponent's point of view, yeah. it was a short conversation. I mean, for me, the coolest thing about the podcast at this point is that it's a package time has console. been delivered. But yeah, it is yet to be shipped to the final recipient. Like, it's crazy to go back and listen to us in 2010. Did you hear about the evil kids? Yeah, yeah the there we go. Is made up of a mix of evil players. They're fans when the Fractured right are missed next game. Year should, I, should I have APOC in? I will. Badly hurt? God damn it. Just thought I'd mention that the apothecary the who's game, coming huh? onto the pitch is one of the local <laughs> magnates. That's right, Jim. This butcher <laughs> shop is known throughout the region. That's good, Wally. You should have fun. That's the way to, that's the way to do it. 
I mean, straight up, my favorite current like media guy. Hey, we only have to see the dour looks on the faces of the orthopedic surgeons and dentists. Yeah, time capsule to is totally time like capsule. To we started the real. podcast. We weren't married. Didn't have any families. <laughs> we're just like two random dudes. Yeah, yeah, totally. Very different. Wait, he's back. Yeah, I don't know. You got the badly hurt one. Oh, yeah. No, badly hurt. If it roll, re-rolls to badly hurt, you get him back. Huh. Um, yeah, I think putting people on the podcast is a good idea, though. And the crazy thing is, like, we're, like, good friends with Rolo Tomasi now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hang out with Rolo. I've hung out with him twice in person, and he, I have long Facebook message conversations with him a lot. I think it's just like that's the most valuable thing for the podcast from our standpoint is all the friendships that we make. Speak for yourself. I don't like this formation, man. It's making me nervous. All right, you'll roll a perfect defense. And... Okay. Look over there, some cute little elf yeah, beauties my kind of are hope selling is big wood sandwiches in the stands. Hey, I'm off to get one. I'll be back in five minutes. And, like, and so now you like big mood sandwiches? sandwiches? Yeah, like no celebrities stop oh, doing elf. them because they can't yeah. figure out a way to monetize them effectively, and then it can become yeah. back, and then it can go back to. But have you heard of NVMC watches? Play. Eric, these stylus watches. What? Oh, yeah. Fuck. Yes, no. What? That's my whole team, <laughs> dude. That's my whole team. Except for the, uh, the guys on the side I lined up on. <laughs> Holy shit. That's eight men down. Well... That good old fan factor comes back in the play. Yeah, that's true. Hey, two of my guys. He made picking that ball up look easy. <laughs> All right. Let's see it. Eight turn alpha touchdown. I gotta play for the win, man. Uh-huh. You gotta play for the draw. Yep. In, in that case, you better score quick. That was it. That's the worst pitch invasion I've had so far. In the screen print of that one, print screen. Screen print and print screen. Surprisingly different. Doping is really endemic in this sport. Isn't it written into the game rules? Yeah. Yeah. We rolled it. Oh shit. As soon as he yeah, throws his first punch, we know the too, opponent will be on. out for lunch. Yeah, resolution doesn't really fit on my screen. Man, they really did not do a good job of lining up the 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 players in the little screen, the previous screen down by there. Picture like your elf guys are all like tiny in the corner. Yeah, now they split the difference like between the tallest guy and yeah. the smallest guy. <laughs> and then, yeah, then the Minotaur is literally just the skull on his necklace. Who's like a good... Oh, the Hot Goblin's good. Dwarf looks great. Maybe you guys are just too skinny. I don't mean to body shame him or anything. Yeah, wow. Shit lord. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's the sound of eight dwarves flipping over. I mean, I guess it's yeah, it's five eight dwarves, a minotaur, a centaur, and a hog. Walking to a 
it's oh, pass so run. widespread that the referee's that? guild has set up rules concerning pass, where, yeah. when, and how one can accept a bribe. Under an agreement run. signed last yeah, season, I think you clubs play your, are not your, allowed uh, to offer less than the going rate. Centaurs forward and try and chase down ball carriers. Really. Yeah, they're just too valuable at this point. That right hook was worthy of a black hawk. You're telling me it'll take a while to get over it. <laughs> oh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> what are you doing? No, we're not playing on Xbox, we're playing on PC. God damn it, Eric Walquist. <laughs> you weirdo! Alright, who wants the points? I think it is. Yeah, it's Tyler Rockets. Well, you do have to GFI to blitz him. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't! Red Skulls, Red Skulls, Red Skulls. Yeah, I know. I'm playing with fire, but whatever. Feel pretty safe right now. Red skulls, red skulls, red skulls. We haven't even thrown the ball yet. I've heard of that. That's Jim Jam. Fan favorite Jim Jam clip clock. Let's say that some Ooh, teams cat who haven't won a match for oh, several years one. have been tied up by their fans and thrown into rubbish containers. It's, it's the only way to end it. a downward spiral. You're gonna blitz him into the. That's a. Look, that's harsh on Unless a fan climbs down ready. from the stand for a block, Bob. <laughs> okay, that was amazing. That was amazing. Dude. That was amazing. <laughs> That was, I mean, Beast, that was, that was like, that was Marshawn Lynch. Yeah. That was amazing. So, now this gives you plenty of time to score. <laughs> well, that's kind of the idea. But it's, you know, you're in a, you're in a, between a rock and a hard place, right? Because well, you got to score mean, fast for the win. Yeah, I'm, it would have been smart for me to play for a draw, but... Um, that's boring. TBB, baby. Yeah, I actually have the Xbox... I still have the Xbox disc for this game. But I don't know how many teams are on it. I still have it for Xbox 360. Yeah, my, I had it for Xbox 360, but my Xbox 360 broke. What? It's such, such a reliable console. Huh? It's such a reliable console. Oh, yeah, right? Everyone I've told was just an <laughs> Just floored. I'm, I'm surprised. I mean, it's my third one. I had two crap out of me. Wow. So I'm on my third iteration, but still, it still works, man. Every time I hear that little motor spin up where it's like, I'm like, oh, this is it. It's done. This is swan song. Just look at the fans. They're red hot. A majority of supporters reckon that the league should take measures to prevent the small minority yeah, it's like of in children fans and men where from it's watching like a match from the terrace. The if they don't want to join that. in the yeah. fun, they might as well stay home and Every watch it on cable vision. Uh, uh, Every time it's that, there's a different frequency in that uh, little motor. That's the last time it's going. Thanks a lot, Wally. Thanks for checking out the stream. Appreciate it, buddy. Hope to see you on a future stream. And be sure to check out the... What is it? What's the name? Terrible Talkers Podcast. We're all good podcaster family. I know it's my turn. I'm texting my wife. That's okay. Okay. Now it's actually set up for offense. Mm -hmm. 
I wish I would have got footage Wizards of Wizards have not always been there, able to cast yeah. spells safely I wish from I would have got a picture of that, um, Were you playing move? at the time in an <laughs> league, a second division that prohibited spell Okey casting dokey. from off the hedge? Oh, yes. They were oh. great times. For an onside kick, give me a blip. Give me a blip. Just to see how well Wizards stood up to the mad charge of a raving Blood Bowl star. The noise created by a sizzling fireball, terrible, followed yeah. by the characteristic sound of the snapping of a wizard's neck. Is in a block. It kills me every time. And you got dodge. Alright, we're Minotaur in the middle, I guess. Okay. Yeah, when I played Nars, I really like to do a run, an eight turn base run game off of my Yeti in the center. Ooh, Yeti's cool. Yeti is a, one of the better ones. I think it has Wild Animal, too. There it is. There she goes. I bet that hurt. Good job his nose got in the way. Yeah, otherwise he'd have got it full in the face. Hey, Bob, do you remember when the Chaos Dwarfs had trolls on their teams? Oh, of course, Jim, I remember. Good old days back then. The but Chaos Dwarfs used to have Why don't they have them anymore? I love this story. The Scarface no. scavengers strapped dynamite and kegs of gunpowder onto the troll, sent him running down into the opposing half, where he detonated himself to the glee of the fans, covering them with bits of oh, troll, you sure a huge amount of detestation to the opponents. Oh god, this oh fuck. has been outlawed by the Blood Bowl regulations crafter, oh, and much. we haven't seen a single troll on the Chaos Dwarf to him ever since. Oh, I remember that very effective. Yep. Now let's see how much blood they can spill without yeah, an depending on how you do Don't the forget, line. they still have bull centaurs and minotaurs. I'm sure it will be a bloodbath, as always. <sighs> so do you think it's better to do my pickups with my sure hands guy or with my Agi 3 guy? Uh, I don't know. It's either a four plus roll twice or a three plus roll once. Well, a four plus roll twice is seventy five percent and a three plus roll one. Yeah. Three plus roll once? Yeah. That's like sixty six. Yeah. So sure hands. Yeah. Okay. That's what I've been doing. It just sucks when it doesn't work. Yep. That's part of Chaos Dwarf thing. Hey Bob, have you ever been to the Great Skull Land? No, Jim, it's a wasteland. No one goes out there, still, not even still, the still, Chaos still, Dwarfs. Still, still, well, I heard a few orcs went there recently. Ah. And have they returned ever since? <laughs> You're right, dude. He fucking cost me that game against Rollo. I need to cut his ass. Yeah. I've also, and, I've asked like, streamers I mean, like, about this, and every streamer tells me no Minotaur. Yeah. I've yeah. asked them on Twitch. I've been like, hey, man, I got this Minotaur. He's got Claw. He's got break tackle. Which he, why the fuck does he have break tackle? Yeah, no, that's that doesn't. Make yeah, it's true, dude. He's got break tackle and he's strength four. That is a dichotomy. I mean, I know that my other guys also, but like break tackle with strength five is like unbe un nearly unbeatable. Yeah, I need to get rid of him. feel good. I think I play Mars next week. Little killers matchup. 
I don't think I've played him yet. You haven't? I don't think so. Oh, no, I have. I have. I have. I, yeah, everybody's played everybody in the league draw. once at this point. Everybody's played four league games at this point. Four league games, one non-league. The exciting thing is weeks eight and nine, those are complete interleague weeks. Yeah. So that's I'm looking to see if there's a if there's an upset that week. It's gonna really upturn the apple cart because every now and again yeah, Blood that's Bowl gonna be throws up a real mixed bag of a team. Like the motley horde is made up of a bunch of misfits. Yeah, it can't be easy to coach those cast offs every day of the week. Oh, Fuck, 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 fuck. That face job is a lot cheaper than a plastic surgeon. I don't know if he planned it, but it won't do him any harm in the looks department. <clears throat> yeah, Levi's kind of running, a, running away with it. Yeah. But that's fine, because that's still just one... That's one guy. There's, there's yeah. three playoff spots. Yeah. I think the third playoff spot makes it so much more interesting. I think so too. Because I'm not trying to catch Levi, I'm trying to catch Mars at this point. Right, yeah. Like I think me between me, Rolo, and Mars, there's a there's an interesting thing happening. That just assumes you get him. <laughs> right, yeah, which is a big assumption. You know me, I love a big ass assumption. Mm -hmm. Alright. What's going on here? We go here. Oh. Yeah, Fish. I do blitz with a loner with no block. I guess my blitzer would Did you block. know that the Galadriel Gladiators won the Blood Bowl in 2470 and were always the oh, top contenders thanks to the best mistake. elven blitzer to grace the pitch? I don't understand the loner stuff. Everyone remembers when Lucian the Silver means Bullet Swift played for the Bears. That was before the NAF collapsed. However, after the collapse, he went on his own and formed the Callahir Swifts in 2501. I don't even have to Yeah, Jim, the Gladiators sure lost a good blitzer. But it's just a matter of time before the richest team in Blood Bowl lures in another star for their roster. In general, anything important, anything you might want to reroll. I should have just fucking blissed. I still have a lot to learn in this game. I've, I've been learning a lot lately by watching streamers and um, playing Blood Bowl 2 on the ladder. I think she's singing him a lullaby. He's got a hand to the ball. Yeah, now he's looking around for support. And I think it might. getting dangerously but close to the end zone. Did you know, Bob, that the hot goblins saved Zar Nagrun? Uh, how did they do that? They're so small and useless and ugly. Indeed, Bob, they are. But when the orc and goblin slaves rebelled, the hot goblins turned their backs on their brothers and helped the chaos dwarfs at the last minute. Oh, I knew those hot goblins there goes were the unreliable dog. creatures, Jim. Look at them. <laughs> yes, Bob, but ogres aren't so different, you know. What? Oh, another 36. At least he put his body in a useful spot. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. You 
you just got six, you got three sixes in a row. No, it doesn't really matter because you just pick up the ball. Ouch! Right that punch knocked his teeth down his throat. Yes, it's just three sixes that's in a row. That's never a nice sure. sight. <laughs> Just stand up and do it. Got no dodge on him though. Hey Bob, do you know who Scurfrick Stonesucker is? Well, no, tell me. Well, Bob, he's one of the Hobgoblin team's oh. best players. But still, he often missed entire games as he struggled to tie his bootlaces up. Ah, <laughs> Stupid things, they always make everything go wrong. Absolutely, Bob, and that's why the fans love to see them play Blood Bowl. Tackle in the gates and stuff, too. That's a good mark by a. Shit. No! Fuck you, game! Fucking bullshit! I did not fucking mean to do that. God damn it. No, yeah, it's not gonna affect this very much. I'm not gonna throw any blocks. The player gets hold of the ball! Got fouled or fell down? What does he have the thing over his head? Did he get thrown out of the game? Houston? Did you know that the Galadriel Gladiators won the Blood Bowl in 2470 and were always right. the top contenders thanks to the best Elven Blitzer to grace the pitch? What'd you say? Oh, yeah. What do you guys get thrown Everyone out? Remembers when Lucy, yeah, the guy the who fouled your man played for the Gladiators. That was before the NAF collapse. Mm. However, uh, after the collapse, he went on his own and formed the Callahir Swifts in 2501. Yeah, Jim, the Gladiators sure in a way, lost a good blitzer, an but it's just a matter of time before the richest team in Blood yeah. Bowl lures in another Another star for their yeah, roster. man, that fucking 75% roll really, really. Screw the bitch on that one. I should have also, obviously. I did. I mean, I, I don't really understand loaner rules. Uh, do you still not understand? Because I can explain it. Well. I can mansplain for you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you're actually, you're mansplaining a little too much for me right now. So. Uh, I'm Close those legs. Close those I lips. am uh, Indian style, which I don't know if that is manspreading or not. Well, it's not manspreading, but it is offensive. Sorry, crisscross applesauce style. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Shit. I mean, I should have just done the... Or I guess I did do the both down, but you guys had block. That's right. Yep. But yeah, loaner commercial means Blood Bowl if, fans if you're going to spend a re-roll on it, oh, yeah, what a great commercial you have to roll up the Dragon Prince's popularity and on a back one in the early three, days. The right, Jim, at least that's one high elf happen. team who knows how to play proper Blood Bowl. The players are positioned, and we're off. We're off. Hey. Boom! That player goes directly to the dugout. Well, at least he's got the more.
Oh, fuck you. Tackle. It seems this player does all the talking for <laughs> the well, they they clearly know how to get hurt. Yeah. yeah. Hey Bob, can you see those hobgoblins on the pitch? <laughs> oh yes, Jim, I can see them. It's going to be a nice match. I hope they don't betray their own team. <laughs> Come on, Jim. That would be even better, wouldn't it? <laughs> Need more help against this Hobga. Hold still I and then know. pow! Right in the face! Somebody had better stuff some smelling salts under his nose. Well, that won't do any good. He'll need extract of Nurgle to put him back on his feet. <laughs> of when I took Griff to bits in the 91 final against Reitland. Oh, yeah. You kneecapped him. He's recovered the ball. Look, Bob, they're almost too proud to get their outfits dirty. Still, they achieve the impossible at times, Jim. What's so difficult throwing a ball? I want to see more action. So you're playing the ladder? Yeah, just let open. And you get a mix of like terrible opponents and then just like brilliant opponents. I have rolled more ones on wild animals, man. Well, he's upset because there's talks of cutting him. Oh, he's getting fucking cut. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's throwing a hissy fit. One last hissy fit. Diva. Locker room cancer. Little Percy Hart. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody was on Reddit today was saying Percy Harvin is John Schneider's biggest mistake. And I was like, the dude scored a return touchdown in the Super Bowl to basically yeah. put the nail in the coffin. I feel like that's fine. If that's your biggest mistake, you're doing something right. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, that's the thing with the Mino. Like, I don't even want to blitz with him anymore because I don't want to lose my blitz. Today's insight comes yep. from Jaime Schnibble, coach and owner of the Goblin just, Lowdown Rats team. In yesterday's Spike magazine, he said that a Blood bad Bowl piece. was like not, war. No not winners, just survivors. Yeah. Oh, I mean, this guy's sitting there like, I think he's team's position and right rankings. now for this guy. For your Mino? Yeah. It's 200. I was looking at that earlier. I think it's only 200 because of his minus one strength. Oh yeah. I think well, no, I don't think I don't think they factor that into. Oh really? Team. Yeah, dude's getting cut. And then your your bull setar is 210, which is a, oh, a phenomenal. The, yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. Is a really awesome piece. So it's not like it's a bad piece 
You're so. right. He's not as good as my 210 bulls in <laughs> Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is my turn 15. I yeah. guess I'm You got more. Oh, that's <laughs> good for me. Okay. He checked. Great roll. Made him look stupid to me. I feel like you're really going to control the line of scrimmage better without him. I think so too. I cuz cuz the fucking frenzy man rolls yeah. a push and then Aha, just goes out in the middle. Right, right, yeah. And the noblest there's, there's, of them there's all. Four you can expect great a high quality right throwing game box. today. Oh, they right. are. Well, if I fall asleep, do not wake me up. And if you could just get mighty blow on one on singles or on not doubles rather on a level up but if one of them rolls doubles and you can put claw on him, then he's already better than your centaur. Yeah. Or minotaur. I think you'll you'll notice much better play. Blood Bowl is reputedly the toughest of all sports. Ah, uh, so they say. But it really only comes down to taking a few hits. Look at that. Look at that. He moved. He moved, people. He moved. Don't cut me. <laughs> I've, changed. I've changed my ways. I'm okay. All right. Let's see what happens. Okay. Last turn. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dodge trigger. So you can only use dodge once for your whole team? No. Oh, okay. So I thought I was like, I thought you were making a big deal over it. <laughs> I was like, I think you can still use it. Well, I want to save my reroll for. It just means I failed in anything but ah. roll. Okay. Look over there. Some cute little elf beauties are selling big moot sandwiches in the stands. Hey, I'm off to get one. I'll be back in five minutes. And so now you like big moot sandwiches? Ah, no way. A little elf beauty? Yeah. Nice. Ah. So dodgy.
Elf throwers are said to be the best throwers to grace the Blood Bowl pitch. Apparently, they start at a very early age, as young as seven right. years old. Okay. Sir, how come it takes them so long to become a full-fledged Blood Bowl player? Well, Jim, to successfully pass their trials, they must perfect their hairdos. <laughs> ah, that explains why so many of them never make it to the big game. I'm surprised he didn't surf on Dude, what does that exactly Ouch. mean? I don't even have a nice means. sleep. Little the baby surf? gets his yeah. medicine and he's Just having to push a little him nap. In for the fans. Oh. How would I have done that? Uh, you could have pushed him in front of uh, your other pieces and then blocked with that piece into the fans. It would have been a pure spike oh. move. <laughs> That's what happens when a pro crosses an amateur. Yes, splodge. Oh, nice play. The ball changes hands. Don't stop. Did you hear about the evil gits? The team that is made up of the mix of evil players? Their fans won the most evil supporters of the year award. That's Fully that's merited that's from what I've seen. That's that's dodge. This is the best I can do. Too fast to tackle. This yeah. player knows how to dodge and gives free lessons. No! Fuck me. Three oh and three. I really fucking thought that things were going that way that fucking round. Well, good game. Yeah, I can't roll a fucking 50 50 to save my goddamn life. Seriously. Yeah, you dodge with a one. <laughs> yep. Oh, wait. Yeah. yeah. You rolled a four, and then a three, and then the re roll with it. Right. Oh, right. Modified. Then I rolled a one yeah. in the fucking reroll. Yep. That's the ball. Really? I had. They put uh, him a good front. The opposition always I'm had the real big. I'm coming for you. 50 fucking 50. That's man. what fans pay What I need to do, though, is I need to, to fucking see. get yeah, my fucking high mark at Mars. Fully so justified. Justified. Talk about a one side match. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, I mean, I played aggressively to try and put a second point on the board. My fucking loner is the goddamn MVP again. Oh, no. Fuck this game, dude. Seriously. Fuck this fucking game. Five star player points for that asshole. Fuck you. You're not doing it. Well, at least there's one who can look himself in the mirror after the match. He was the best player on the pitch. They defended oh. high up, keeping the opposition to their play. half of the field. So I take notes for the right up. <laughs> well, on the pitch at least. <laughs> You've got to respect a referee who sticks to the rules and isn't scared to send players packing. He'll be scared when the fans get hold of him, though. All right, Jorge Del Toro is off the team. You put that in your right up. <laughs> okay. Pull up on dwarf blockers. Might as well grab a hot problem. Mm -hmm. 
Well, you shouldn't have bought the one that just got the MVP. Nah, fuck that guy. I'm principal. Alright, so you scored turn 8. With Jim Jam. Yeah. And a riot, or pitch invasion. Then, uh... What do you think? Do I take an, uh... I think I should take a Apothecary, or should I buy another Hobgoblin? Uh... What is your roster size? I, well, I only have nine people on my team. <laughs> I would buy a hobgoblin. Yeah, because I just, uh, I'm actually gonna buy two hobgoblins. I'll fill up my team. Yeah, yeah, you wanna get those loners off your roster. That's yeah. hit me a couple of times. Okay, so this guy will be George Jr. Oh, good. The TD was the guy who I forgot to name Sid Hunder. And then the other hobgoblin. I do have a tradition of naming my hobgoblins after the. Or aiming my new players after the player I just played. So this hobgoblin will be named J Dog. Not water, my unicorn name. <laughs> What's my unicorn name? Your unicorn name was Peanuts. Was no. Bubbles. Bubbles. Okay. Yep. Fucking 50-50 rolls were no good for air tonight. No good. Oh, that wasn't even a 50-50 roll because I was getting plus one on it. No, you were you were dodging into a tackle zone. Yeah, but it said it it gave me a plus one on the roll table. You reason. always get a plus one you make when you make a dodge roll. So you're edgy right. three. I was edgy three on that guy, yes. So edgy three is four plus on a on the edgy table, three plus for making the dodge roll, dodging into a tackle zone. Minus one, so back to four plus. Yeah, so four plus. Oh man. I feel like if I would have made that one, I really had a good shot at fucking tying it up. Always get taken down on that second one. Alright. 16. Turn 16. Defensive stop. Alright. Results. So I got 70k. That's cool. You got 70k? Yes, I did. Shit. Alright, I'm gonna stop the stream. Oh, did I get a new fan pack? 